As we celebrate Black History Month, education has been a crucial part of my life. In terms of me going from police officer to three-star chief in the NYPD. Education has been key in shaping my life. Education has been key in strengthening my career path. Education is the cornerstone of success. I think it's the gateway to opportunity. Always be aware of the fact that as you have pride in what you do, that you have to obtain the knowledge to go to the next step. I went to uh, college night days and summers, working as a New York City police officer. I then went to uh, law school. I worked full-time at night as a detective. I was awarded a scholarship to go to Hunter and it was one of the greatest things that ever happened to me. Receiving my master's degree allowed me to learn new things. It allowed me to broaden my horizons. As a police officer, I worked on patrol and I went to school during the evening times. Um, I was able to get my bachelor's degree, my master's degree from John Jay College. And then I went on to law school at New York Law School and I got my Juris Doctor's degree. When I joined the police department, I was in college and I was like three-fourths of the way completed through my bachelor's. Um, I stopped when I went in the academy, but I resumed school as soon as I left the academy. I went on and got my bachelor's degree. I attended Empire State College while uh, being the president, uh, still currently president of the Correction Officers Benevolent Association. I uh, received my bachelor's degree. I have the distinction of being the first recipient of the Raymond W. Kelly Scholarship and that scholarship enabled me to go to Columbia for a year and finish my Master of Science degree. I was working in the police academy as an instructor and that gave me the platform to want to be an educator. So I went to school, uh, got a master's degree. I was the first one in my family to graduate college and um, actually went away for four years to Temple University came home, was not satisfied with the bachelor's degree, knew I wanted to become a lawyer, so I got a full-time job to pay for a graduate degree at night. As a road map, get as much education as you possibly can. Find an area of interest and take small steps toward that area each day. And it's very important to stay involved in some sort of studying and keeping your mind sharp and to progress. Never aspire to mediocrity. If you're going to take an examination, don't just study to pass, study to get 100%. You want to be that person that has people say, uh, I achieved my college education, uh, so that when your children look up to you, they have motivation as well. Our children are our future. I've always worked with the, the youth in the community as well as in my church, and I feel that it's important to to show them and, and to encourage them to do more in life and to be a positive influence. I went to Boys High before it became Boys and Girls High. And I was a product of Plessy versus Ferguson, separate but equal, segregation. That was the law of the land. And I'll never forget, I told one of my guidance counselors at Boys High that I had wanted to be a lawyer. And he told me, that I should be a carpenter. Continue to persevere uh, and become a successful person. So don't let, ever let that type of roadblock stand in your way. Um, stand firm and, uh, and know that you can, you can persevere. I say to young people all the time, be focused, be confident. You can be anything that you want to be. The doors are open, walk right through. I grew up very humbly and achieved through education and hard work, a position as Deputy Police Commissioner. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Let us remember these timeless words. With hope and virtue, let us brave once more the icy currents and endure what storms may come. Let it be said by our children's children that when we were tested, we refused to let this journey end. That we did not turn back, nor did we falter. And with eyes fixed on the horizon and God's grace upon us, we carried forth that great gift of freedom and delivered it safely to future generations.